welcome back friends in this video we are going to um, study about a deep copy how to implement deep copy in the last video session we learned what is a shallow copy what is behavior of shallow copy how to implement shallow copy now we are going to implement a deep copy how to perform deep copy if you want to implement deep copy operation the respective object must implement with clonable interface here i am using a customer class this customer class must implements with clonable interface first then we need to override one method override method called clone method so if you want to create a new copy of customer object we need to use clone method here whenever you use clone method the clone return a new object that object will have a its own reference it, its own reference whenever you change any value in that object the value reflected only in the copied object it never reflected in original object similarly when you change any value in original object that value never reflected in copied object because both object will have its own reference in the case of shallow copy the multiple object will have a same reference if you change any value in a one one object that value will reflected in all objects right that is the concept of um, shallow copy here we are going to implementing a deep copy so in the case of deep copy in the case of deep copy we need to implement clone method we need to implement clone method through clone method we need to uh, copy the particular java object here we are going to copy customer object okay okay let's do the demonstration now i want to uh, create a new copy sorry new object to customer customer one dot clone so using clone method i copy the customer one now i want to print the value system dot out dot printl and customer one dot t Customer one dot t, okay. Then customer two dot t. So when you run this program, it will print ten, right? Because I'm passing a ten value, right? Ten value. So it will return a ten uh, for from customer one dot t, customer two dot t, correct? So here customer one dot t at ten, customer two dot t at ten. Now I'm going to change the value of customer two. 2 dot i equal to I am saying 100. Then I am going to print this. Also I am going to say here after changes. After changes. Now I am going to run this program. This so customer. 1 dot a 10 customer 2 dot a 10 because i'm passing 10 value here then i'm changing customer 2 dot a equal to 100 the after changes customer 1 dot a still a it's still 10 customer 2 dot a is 100 why because the customer 2 is it has a own reference it has a own reference that's the reason um the changes not reflected in customer 1 dot a in the case of shallow copy what will happen customer one dot a also will become 100 right so this is the concept of deep copy whenever you perform a deep copy deep copy will have its own reference deep copy will have own reference whenever you change a particular object value that object value never reflected in other object okay I hope you understand what is deep copy, how to implement deep copy. There is another way to implement deep copy. That example I will going to explain in coming video session. If you like this video, please share it to your friend circle. I am planning to upload a lot of um, inter Java interview uh, videos like Hibernate, JPA, or Microservices, Springboard. Please subscribe this channel and uh, click bell icon for regular update. Until then, bye bye from Fresh.